Hello everyone and welcome to another video about Arnold for Studio Max. And today the topic we are going to cover is why you don't need to use the physical camera exposure controller and why sometimes new users say that for some reason the preview will look with a certain exposure and then suddenly once the render finish your image goes a little bit darker like the exposure is off. Something you'll see in a second like this. So why is this happening? Well, the reason why is this happening is because you're using the physical camera exposure control. I know it can be a little bit annoying because you open the post section, there is nothing here. Would be nice, I guess, having like a warning message and saying you're using the physical camera exposure control. Um, but that's, that's why the image goes uh, a little bit darker, almost like there is a tone mapping being applied. And that's exactly what the physical camera exposure control does. It not only uh, controls the exposure, but also uh, affects your image by applying a tone mapping. So if I open my environment and effects, if I just focus on this section here, as you can see, you're using the physical camera exposure control. And, and um, the options that you have, it's not only controlling the exposure, you can also control the white balance, you can apply some vignette if you want. And then you have this, I would say, obscure section here, because image control not necessarily tells exactly what is happening. You know it's affecting the highlights and the shadows, um, but it doesn't tell you which tone mapping is using. And the tone mapping used by default is the Raynar tone mapping. Um, but this option here is why I consider the physical camera exposure control, although nice and useful, it's a legacy workflow if you're working with Arnold. Why? Because you can do much more by using the uh, Arnold images. And then the other, the other aspect of this section here is that there is no way you can switch this off, at least uh, um, as far as I'm aware. There is, even if you remove the highlights, even if you remove the shadows, your mid-tones are still affected. And that's why you know, your image looks nice, but you may want to use another tone mapping, like Filmic, for example. Before we move to the, to the section of using the Arnold images, you may be asking, um, why is this happening with Arnold? Because I work with V-Ray, I work with Konona, I have the physical camera exposure control, and this doesn't happen with those render engines. And that's true. Um, and the reason why it doesn't happen is because Arnold is the default render. And being the default render, it means it has to support all of these options here. And what Arnold is doing in the background is just converting all of this information into images. So as you can see, I saved this preview and now I'm showing that you can match precisely what the physical camera exposure control does by just using images. So what is the first thing you have to do? Well, the first thing is by applying an exposure. Obviously, the exposure that you're going to need to your scene, it's completely different from the one I'm going to use. Um, here, what I'm going to use to match precisely um, the preview that I have here, it's the value of 3.05. So 3.05, there you go. And then you can apply a white balance if you want. You can apply a lens effect if you want to control, uh, for example, the vignette, or if you want to apply some bloom. But what I'm going to apply is a tone mapping. Okay, that, that's, that's what the exposure control does by default, the physical one. Uh, like I said, it's not the Filmic, it's the Reinhardt. And then if, if you close these two sections here, the values that uh, Cinemax uses by default, it's 0 0.25 for the highlights and then 0 0.20 for the shadows. Right. And then once I have this here, if I do a comparison between the two of them, as you can see, exactly the same image. Right? So that's why you don't need to use the physical camera exposure control because you can do precisely the same thing with Arnold images. Um, and even, even much better because, for example, I, I prefer to use, instead of the Reinhardt, uh, using the Filmic. I think you have a better control in terms of not only your shadows, but also your highlights. And the image looks uh, much nicer, as you can see here. Obviously, you have more options. You can apply um, a light mixer, you can apply a color corrector. Uh, and that's why, if you're working with Arnold, and you have the images available, you don't have a reason to use the physical camera exposure control. Just be aware that um, you may turn this option on by mistake, and that's why sometimes people don't realize they have the physical uh, camera exposure control affecting the scene. 
and the reason why that's happening is because and let me remove this just to show you if you select your physical camera and if you're not aware when you go to exposure if you want to control the exposure through the camera if you click this option here called install exposure control automatically this option turns on right? another way that this is affected is if you go to your lights and then as soon as you click uh, and create a light and this happens to me sometimes when i'm using a sign positioner but as soon as you click on the light it's going to tell you you're working with the photometric lights and you may want to use a physical camera exposure control and if you don't realize if you click yes again the physical camera exposure control is applied to your preview and that's why once it's finished it goes a little bit darker and um, because all of this is being affected in the background to your view so i hope this video was useful for you uh, let me know if you have any feedback if you have any questions leave in the comments and i'll try my best to answer uh, thank you so much for watching and take care